Hey, what's going on everybody? Today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step process on how I actually staked OHM using Olympus DAO, and I'm gonna show you all the little steps that I did so that you can do this yourself. Now, before I begin, just know I'm not a financial advisor. I don't know what I'm talking about. Use this for entertainment purposes. Just know that I did actually do this and I am invested in OHM, and that's because I want to get this APY of 7,614%. So if this is something that you're interested in, please follow along. If at any point you say, I already know how to do this, skip ahead. Go for it. So let's get into it. The website we'll be using today is Olympus DAO. So go to olympusdao.finance and come up here and click stake. Now before you can actually stake your funds, you have to have funds to stake. And in order to do that, we are going to be using MetaMask. Now, when you come down here to connect wallet, you can also connect a wallet connect wallet, which if you come to walletconnect.org, there is a list of wallets you can download to actually use. You don't have to use MetaMask. That's just the one that I'm going to be using in this video. So head to metamask.io, make sure it's this URL, and then you will come up here and click download and be presented with this page and choose how you want to download it. For me in this video, I will be using the Brave browser because I love earning cryptocurrency just from using the browser. It's awesome, I love it. If you wanna check out Brave, go to brave.com to get more information. But once you have MetaMask installed, whether that is in the browser or on an iOS or Android device, you're going to create your free account and make sure that when you sign up and create your free account, you write down your password in a very secure place. I personally use this little notebook called Stonebook and it's a great way to store my private keys and my passwords offline in a thing that is water resistant, tear resistant, and can even be set up to use uh, invisible ink. So that's a pretty cool thing. That's what I personally use, but you can do whatever you want. Just know if you are going to save your information in an online way, like in LastPass or something like that, know that those are susceptible to hackers and people lose money all the time because of it. So once you have MetaMask installed, and I've got mine right up here in the browser, you're going to notice that we are on the Ethereum mainnet. That's what we're going to be using. And this is your user account icon. So these are the different accounts that I have. If you don't have any accounts yet, you can come down here and create a new account. So once you have your new account, we're going to send funds from another wallet into this new wallet. So let's go ahead and hover over this item here and click to copy it. And now I'm going to head into where I personally store my crypto information, my, my cryptocurrencies. I use a device called a ledger and it's just a really simple way to keep my cryptocurrency secure. If you wanna check that out, I've put links down below. So I will be opening up my Ledger Live app to show you how I would send funds from my Ledger Live app into my MetaMask account. Now that I've got my Ledger Live open, I'm gonna come over here and click on accounts. If you were doing this in Coinbase, for example, you would go log into your Coinbase account, you'd come to your assets, you'd scroll down here to wherever you have Ethereum, you'd click on it, and then you'd come over here and you type how much you want to send to, and here's where you would paste in your Ethereum address, and then you would continue, pay the small little fee, and then actually transfer the funds to your MetaMask wallet. But for me, I would be doing it in Ledger Live, so I click on accounts, I come over here to Ethereum, and then up here under manage, I'm going to click send. From here, I'm going to paste in the address that I copied from my MetaMask wallet, click continue, Let's say I was going to send that amount, about $187. I would probably choose either medium or fast just to make sure that the funds get there in time. And then I would click continue. And before I click continue, make sure it looks good, then click continue. But I won't do that today because I already have funds in my MetaMask account. But that's how you would do it to send funds from one account or one wallet into your MetaMask wallet. Now that you have funds in your MetaMask wallet like this, we need to convert this Ether into OHM. So to do that, we are gonna to go to a website called Sushi, and it's sushi.com. You're gonna come up here and click Enter App, and then you're going to come up here and click Connect to a Wallet. Scroll up, click on MetaMask, or if you chose a different wallet, click Wallet Connect. Bunch of different options, we'll click on MetaMask for this. I'm gonna connect it to this account because that's where I have my ETH. 
I'm going to let them view the addresses of my accounts. And then once it's connected, you'll see your balance right here. So the next step, you're going to swap from ETH into, and you're going to select a token. You're going to select Olympus. If that's not listed, just type OHM in the search bar and click on that one. And then we're going to type in the number that we want to swap. So for this, I'll just type in 0 0.01. Now for you, because it'll be your first time using Sushi, or you can use any other site like Uniswap, it will say you need to approve Sushi or Uniswap to actually make the transaction. And with that comes a very small fee of about $10 or $15. So when you come down the first time, it'll either say approve or confirm or something like that. You'll click that button. A pop-up will appear. You will approve that. You will approve Sushi to make this transaction for you, and then you'll click approve. And then the second time around, you'll have to come back through here. You'll click swap, and then it'll show you all the fees associated with this swap. You'll click confirm swap. MetaMask will pop up saying, here are the fees associated with this transaction. Do you want to make the transaction? And if you do, click confirm. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to reject it, but that is what you would do. And then once you actually do that, you can come back to your MetaMask account, come to your Assets section, and you should see some OHM here. Now, if you don't see OHM here, all you have to do is come back to the Olympus DAO website, hover over this item here, and click Add the Token to Wallet, and click on OHM, and then you will see it here in your MetaMask account. So now that we're back on Olympus DAO, we have OHM, we can actually start staking those funds. You're going to come up here and click on Connect Wallet or click Connect Wallet down here, and you'll click on MetaMask or the wallet type that you have down here. I'll click MetaMask, and then you will see that my balance of OHM is this. So as we did with Sushi, you will also have to do the same with Olympus. You first have to approve them to make the transaction, and then you actually have to go through with the transaction. So the first time for you, I believe this will say approve. You type in the amount that you want to stake. So let's say we're going to do all of it. We're going to click approve or stake. MetaMask will pop up with the initial fee. You'll click approve. And then once that's done, you'll come back here again and click stake OHM and you'll be presented with the fees. And assuming everything looks good to you, you're going to come down here and click confirm. Now once that's done, you are done. Your balance will increase, your staked balance down here, and every eight hours you will earn this amount of SOHM, which means staked OHM. So the way that they can give you this type of percentage back is based on compound interest. Every eight hours you will earn this, and then every five days you will earn this, and then every 30 days you'll earn around 42 to 48 percent and then every year you should be getting about this percentage back in interest. So hopefully this video has been helpful in showing you the process of taking your Ether token and converting it to OHM and then how to actually stake the OHM in Olympus DAO. If it's been helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys in the next video.